Apprentice, you've reached Narshada safely. Good. Don't let the glittering towers fool you. Misery and desperation rule the slums below. And desperation can drive people to many things. Remember that in your attempts to recover the artifact here. You believe I can use these people's hopelessness against them? Their need for answers should serve you well. The artifact, a pendant called the Eye of Tulak, belongs to the Sith Lord Palladius. He's lived here many years, converting Narshadar's poor and suffering into zealous followers. His own cult. He sounds like a very cunning man. I admire that. Cunning, devious, persuasive, yes. And atrociously stubborn. Palladius leads his cult from seclusion, but you can draw him out. I've contacted two of his former cult members. They're in hiding now, fearing retribution, but hungry for revenge. They should prove useful. How did you convince these fools to help? I have encouraged their cooperation with the assurance that once Palladius is gone, the cult is theirs to lead. Circumstances change, of course. Do whatever you feel is necessary with Palladius and his cult. The artifact is all that matters. Oh, Destris, dear brutish Destris, and Riley, so beautiful and intelligent. You were like children to me, which is why it pains me to do this. You can cut the act, Palladius. You never cared about any of your children. We don't need a tyrant for a father. Ah, well said. Marvelous last words. Truly, I expected nothing less, which is what makes this so hard. Now, if you'll excuse me. My other children would like to play with you. What have we here? The cavalry looks like. I appreciate the help, but I had it under control. Tagasa Chais embarks prize war pairing swase ikbus karadita. Easy, Destris. This isn't some holo you're talking to. My lord. You are indeed beautiful and intelligent. Not as much as you are handsome and wise, my lord. There was a lady Sith a while back, Darth Sash. Said she'd send someone to help us out. You it? Palladius has something I need. And if helping you will get it for me, then yes. Good, because it makes me sick to think Palladius is out there while I'm cooped up in this rat hole. Palladius built his empire on the backs of the poor. Said he'd save them from their miserable lives. Said we'd make a, what's it, a mighty sword and strike against our enemies? It was all lies. It was all lies. But you win the support of the poor, you knock Palladius's legs out from under him. How do I win the love of these poor downtrodden souls? What Palladius did was find the biggest, most vicious gang on the block and crush them. Right now, the gang's the Crates, named after the Crate Dragon on Tatooine. Their leader, Sabin, thinks he's descended from one. Take out Sabin, and the masses will see you as a regular hero. He'll need to be a dragon if he hopes to stand against me. With all respect, taking out the crates wins you followers only until the next gang rises up. But there may be another way. A plague called the Rot afflicts the poorest of Narshada's poor. But it can be cured, and the person who does so will be regarded not just as a hero, but as a prophet. What exactly does this entail? The cure to the rot is owned by Titus Neutronics. You'll have to steal it from their warehouse, then distribute it. In this case, I'd rather be loved than feared. Good, but be careful. The warehouse is heavily guarded, but if you can steal the cure and distribute it in the Corellian sector, you'll own the lower classes. My lord, I wanted, I wanted to apologize for Destris earlier. He was out of line. Don't waste your breath apologizing for that fool. I have a great deal of respect for you. I just wanted you to know that. You... you radiate a, a power that Palladius, for all his ranting and demanding, never did. Do you find that power attractive? I don't know. It's terrifying. Anyway, if we want to make a stab at taking over Palladius's cult, we need a real headquarters. Somewhere you can speak, hold meetings. I hope you don't mind, but I, I took the liberty of finding a place. This wouldn't be a ploy to outplay Destris for my favor. I'm sorry. I thought the Sith smiled on ambition, but in any case, I was only trying to help. The place is called the Strell House for a charity worker named Dakin Strell. The people look to him as a leader. 
He's been dead nearly a decade, but his name still means something. And I thought it couldn't hurt to have his name associated with yours. If it gets me away from this place, fine. Kinokuta Tan Kwikuta. Be quick to Bamba? If you mean the future leader of Lord Palladius's cult, then yes. Oroe Nimne, Nanaka, Sanurire, Pobo Naguta. Nisupo go by. Pombo get Dusta Badawanga, Chopting Wamba. La Hagua Kilia Jakoska, Paguta Palco. I'll send your body back to your master in pieces. Tuta Ulya, Nucha, Kechawa Joto do dead beta. Your bana pihota, Mindia. That was Garnock. You defeated Palladius's right hand man. You should hear it. They're calling you the great healer after your little trick curing the rot. Look what I found outside. My lord, for helping to cure our families and neighbors of the rot. We humbly present you with this gift. I love getting gifts. We are honored to serve you, my lord. Isn't this great? Cure one lousy disease and you already got Palladius scared and people lining up with presents. No time for celebrating, Destris. Palladius isn't resting. He's called a big meeting at Meridian Hall. If we don't act, he'll rally his cult and stop our whole operation dead. Sounds like the perfect opportunity to present the virtues of my own cult. With all respect, these are Palladius' most faithful we're talking about. We need to show that you have more power in your little finger than Palladius has in his... Wait! I've got it! It's a crazy idea, but what if you showed that you could move the city itself? Make a ground quake? I walk into Palladius' speech and make the very ground shake. I like it. What have you been putting in your soup, Riley? Nobody can just make this moon shake. Stick with me here. You know the gas pipes that run under Meridian Hall? Well, what if we blow up those pipes? Whoa, you got brains, girl. I know just the guy to set it up. Gord Maydell in the Narshada Works Administration. Takes bribes on the side. He'll rig you something up, no problem. I can't wait to see the look on Palladius' face. Gord works at the NSWA office in the Duro sector. Not far from Meridian Hall where Palladius is holding his big broadcast. You just tell him old Destris sent you. My lord, I... Did you want something? I'm interested to learn a little more about you. Um, well... I don't know what there is to tell. I was born in Narshada. I'm good with... computers and things. Which I guess is why Palladius recruited me. I'm sorry, I'm rambling. I shouldn't ramble. Maybe you'd like to show me the compound a little. Your favorite rooms. Um, yes. Yes, I'd like that. Let's do that. Um, yeah, so that was nice. Very nice. A little unexpected, but nice. But I guess you need to get back to work, don't you? I think I'll be up for another tour shortly. Well, um, you... you know where to find me. Istin Goto Baraka kem you amkam nemnu Namgan bak umnok kijak Laboram amka Mamni nikag Nagnaya mamni kamgam I need to create a ground quake Umnok inu memnu Amka kam mem Perolak palak Memua pemgwana Kumi a yang mem gamba paka it's so much more fun for me when you refuse. Analang yang perlu, amka kalami na yakira lebua. Memyuka hal hal krama, nikno ganyalalu memnurak. 
do you still hope to win? Mami lebik pak manuk, meraka naja ki nam ya bamyak. Memua pemgona, kumi a young mem gamba paka. You'd better follow through on this. Um nuk inu mem nu, am ka kam mem perolak palak kam perem ganam bagi yang manik hikup bukam. There is only one law for the weak as well as the strong, and that is power. For too long, the weak of Nar Shaddaa have grown soft in the luxury of their towers, while the strong have wallowed in chains. But I tell you, united, there is no law that can stop you. Take back what is yours. Yeah! <laughs> Never a truer word spoken, my friend. There are those who would tell you lies, who spread rumors and false promises. Already some among you are lost, having chosen the path of weakness. But you must shun this false messenger. The weak fear your growing strength, and have sent him to break it. What makes you worthy of leading such a strong people, Palladius? Ah... The deceiver shows his face. Behold, my children. Look how pathetic, how easily crushed by your collective might. That's no way to greet a guest, Lord Palladius. Do you fear what I have to say? Fear? <laughs> we do not fear anything, do we, my children? You are a mighty blade, my children but one that needs a great warrior to wield. I am that warrior. Together we lay waste to our enemies. I don't need weapons. My power is real. <laughs> what kind of power is this? The world is don't be fooled! It's a trick! Attack the Deceiver! Attack! My lord, what happened? How did you... We never met anybody who could do what you did. Not Lord Palladius, not anybody. That was only a small fraction of the power I possess. Of course, my lord. We are most unworthy. But before you send us away, share your wisdom and strength with us, so we can serve you. There is only passion. Through passion, strength. Through strength, power. Through power, victory. That's the same line Palladius fed us. I'm sick of these Sith games. Shut your mouth. The Sith speaks the truth. Besides, this one does what he says. He cured the rot. You're right. My lord, we will do as you say. We will forgive and tell others to do the same. Sith, will you look at this place? Dagon Strel himself couldn't generate this kind of crowd. And neither can Palladius anymore from the looks of it. Aren't you forgetting something? Yes, my lord. I'm sorry. I... M my lord! I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. They said they'd kill me. They said they'd kill me if I didn't. This is no place for cowards. Ah! Sith! Did you have to kill him? Members of this cult will fear me, and me alone. Yes, my lord. Now what's this thing he brought? It looks like a hollow device. Let me see here. Ah, Sif. Good evening. How good to talk to you again. I'm sorry to use such an unconventional method to contact you, but I had to be sure you got the message. You understand? If you're trying to intimidate me, you failed. Yes, but I think your followers understood perfectly. The truth is, when you first attacked my cult, I was angry, frustrated. And then I realized, you're Zash's apprentice. All this trouble is just about some silly artifact. Let's let bygones be bygones, hmm? We can meet at my place, in network access. We'll chat. I'll give you the artifact and all will be mended. 
Are you trying to make me laugh? I assure you, Sith, I have no sense of humor. I promise. No tricks, or may I die creditless on Tatooine scrubbing a Jedi's back. Take time to consider my offer, but not too long or my good mood may sour. And bring your friends. Lying son of a hot. You're not seriously considering it, are you? Chandam Jai Hai Hayat E Prauja Afleta Forte Ja Fragich Wahis. I'm going, Destris, and you're coming with me. You can get yourself killed if you want, but I didn't keep out of Palladius's reach this long just to walk into his grip. No, don't you see? Sure, it's probably a trap, yes, but this is our chance to strike at him. Fine, but I'm going in with both eyes open. Sith! D Destron, Rachel! I'm so glad you've come. You have made a wonderful decision. Can I offer you anything? A drink? And don't mind Varnock and Sharnock. They never leave my side. I was prepared to fight through your welcoming committee. Oh, Sith. You've proven yourself more than a match for anyone I'd throw at you. But I dare say you've gravely underestimated me. That painful twisting you feel in your gut is your essence draining rather rapidly. And that hollow sinking feeling, your connection to the Force being severed. Soon, you will be no more powerful than little Denton here, or Ramona. You are one dead man. Greater Sith than you have fallen before me. Did you think you were the first to try and steal my cult? I could choke the life out of you right now, but since you seem so very eager, let's settle this with lightsabers. What? What? How, how is this possible? You're stronger than any I have faced. Oh, forgive me, my... my lord. Take the artifact. Just let me live and carry on the cult in your name. I hate to break it to you, Palladius, but Darth Sash promised the cult to us. You're done. You're, you're very trusting, Destris. But surely my lord sees the advantage of leaving the cult in my hands. Think of what I could accomplish on your behalf. My lord, please. Can Palladius really be trusted? Killing you will be such fun. <laughs> well, that was every bit as satisfying as I expected. We're in your debt, Riley and me. Only, the thing is, everyone in the cult looks up to you now. You will run this cult to my exact specifications. Don't worry about it. You can count on us. I guess I should go rally the cultists before they lose their fervor. Thanks again. Um, Sith? I'm grateful for all you've done, but I, I did wonder. You're leaving now, right? I mean, what happens t to us uh, when you're gone? I'll visit you as often as I can. I promise. Really? Great. That's really great. I'm, well... I look forward to it. Good luck, and, and don't be too long between visits, okay? Okay. I managed to obtain the artifact from Lord Palladius. And you gained your own cult in the process, or so I hear. You are quickly becoming quite the cunning Sith. But there's still the artifact on Balmora to pursue. I'm still trying to locate the other two. I feel I'm close. I fully expect to have good news when you return from Balmora. But there is no time to rest. Power does not favor the slow.